In this video, I will be explaining the basic steps with splings. What you need to do in the first. Okay, first will be company information setup and also creating administrators, partners, locations, these basic things. And then we will continue with tariff points and other things. So let's start with that. There is a splings. When you install it, this is the administrative access that you have. Please be aware that there is a portal access as well. So if you type portal, there is a portal. So it looks different. And this is for customer login. For administrative login, we use slash admin. So I have my admin username and password entered to the system. And so this is the basics So the system. I have configured a bit there. And when you enter for the first time, it will ask you to enter your company details. If you will not set up these things correctly, you can still change them. So if you go to your configuration, there is a system configuration with the basic things that you need to set up. And this is the company information. When you go there, there is a default company that is preset, which you preset during the first steps. If you haven't entered it, nothing happens. You can just fill it right now. So where you fill your company detail, all your VAT numbers, your percentage of the tax, it can be VAT, GST, tax, depends on the country. Uh, and so then you select here your templates. You have different templates. You can always choose from two modern and classic templates. And of course, we can customize templates for you, customize invoices. Uh, this is a paid option of Splinks. Uh, what I would like to mention, uh, first of all, that this percentage is configurable. So we can set up the tax. If we haven't done it before, we can go there to config. And very useful thing is a search. So because you see how many config options the system has, what I do always, I use search so i click tax and then it shows me where all the taxes i have and there is a finance taxes for example so this is what i need to do you can see that there are the taxes that are pre-configured by default here uh, and i can add one more tax or i can remove one and leave only the default tax in my country so for example in europe there are 21 percent of vat and uh, in south africa there is a 15 percent of tax uh, depends on your country you can always change that and when you change that again you can go back to your uh, main configuration just reset the search uh, results and in the company information you select here your VAT uh, the next step what I always do is I configure my allocations and partners and under administration again main configuration here splings I have administrators partners location so this three things I do in the first first steps. Uh, locations, for example, my network is located in five different cities. So I add five cities there, if my, or in five regions. So I add five regions there or 20 regions, depends. Uh, this will help me in future uh, to search quickly, to filter quickly, and also to uh, get interesting reports. So this is the first thing. The second thing, partners. How many companies do operate under my brand? If, if I have many companies, I can split them and I can have them here, for example, two, three companies, and each company will have access only to their part of the network, to their business, okay? If I have only one company that does everything, so I leave one partner and call him the company name. And then, as I said, under administrators, I configure my administrators. You can see here there is a administrator i can add a new one uh, let's make alex administrator one two three four five six password and then there is alex his username email and then i will provide him the role there are pre-configured roles in splings but you can configure your own role as well so i will give him a super administrator access at the moment uh, if you have authentication to radius uh, to your equipment, you can also give him some uh, 
type of access to the network centrally using radio server and he belongs to the main partner or to any partner he can see everything that's what i do yeah the email must be unique probably i use it already somewhere okay here it is so i created the super administrator as i said i can create additional administrator and set him the different permission level for example this one is engineer and here you can see there is a permissions per administrator even when i grant him permission level based on the role i still can customize his permissions here and i can allow him to see certain parts of the platform and edit or just view them okay here per administrator and as i said there is also role options so on the roles i see there are the roles that are created by default in splinks with a certain template of rules template of access level and then i can create my new role as well and just apply one permission scheme and then customize it uh, let's check here when i log out and now let's let's try to log in as alex administrator one two three four five six yeah that's my billing system what i always recommend to do is i recommend to use two-factor authentication that we have in splings and of course change your photo so that's my photo that uh, i can upload my photo i can upload any picture or i can just pre-select uh select from these pictures here that are available so for example let's select this one and here is the two-factor authentication uh, change timeout means uh, it can log me out after certain timeout of inactivity um, but uh, i want to configure my two-factor authentication so here is a qr code any platform uh, that provides that like google authentication Authy or one password can be used i use Authy, and what i do i just create a new account on my phone and i scan the qr code when it's scanned i just add it as a new um, app to my authentication authenticator continue here i save it and i need to enter the code from my telephone that's what i'm doing currently right now 789 enable two-factor authentication it's enabled so next time when i will log in it will ask me for code from our Alf Yelp, from my application. Here it is, Alex23456, simple password, but you see, without code, it doesn't allow me to enter. If it's a trusted device, I save this, and uh, then it will not ask me again. 623973, sign in, and here we are. What I also recommend, and that is very important for many add-ons and features in Splinks, to have SSL uh, certificate. Here it is, uh, Splinks can generate um, SSL uh, certificate. If I go to config again and check SSL, there is a configuration under main, HTTPS, SSL. Please always enable this. We have a less encrypt certificate that immediately will create certificate for you which is authorized by let's encrypt authority so it's not self-signed it will not show you incorrect certificate messages it will not show it to your clients uh, what you need to do is just to have it on the url so you need to put splings on url not on the ip address and then click button here activate and that will do all the work for you and it will install splings on uh, https so this is very important thing uh, for future. Yeah, I think that's all for, for now. And uh, let's continue next video with a tariff plan configuration. Thank you for your time.